Today we are hauling out Kamara. We are at Marston Cove Marina, which is a beautiful marina with brand new haul out and hard stand facilities and one of the few that can handle a yacht of Kamara size, draft and tonnage. It's been nearly three and a half years since we launched Kamara and that she's been in the water, so it's time for new anti-fouling. We're on the dock opposite the slipway, waiting for the tide to come in a bit more, and then it's time for the haul out. At Marston Cove Marina, they use the new Rudberg hydraulic slipway trailer that can handle boats up to 35 meters in length and up to 80 tons. With the boat tied up in the slipway, the trailer drives under the boat until it is in position. Then, hydraulic jacks come up from the trailer and lift the boat. You can see in this clip here exactly how it works. Obviously, it's important to let the slipway team know about any protrusions and the likes so they can ensure the correct positioning and usually you would supply pictures or drawings of the hull for their reference. Once the boat was secured, it was time for the journey to the hard stand on their purpose-built haul road. With Kamara, the transport from the slipway to the boatyard was our main concern, mainly due to the significant overhang. Between the smooth haul road and a team of careful slipway operators though, it proved to be a smooth ride and carefree process. Once the boat was parked in the washdown bay, the slipway team wasted no time and got the pressure wash started. The checks on the trailer can be lowered individually, so they are able to wash underneath the checks as well, one at a time. And finally, they lift the boat a little higher to get to under the keel as well. With the hull all pressure washed, she was on the move again to her spot on the hard stand for the next week. If you pay attention to the front of the trailer, you can see that at this point the trailer extends out and gets driven by one of the guys who's standing behind the boat and gets the boat to its final parking spot. Once the boat is chocked and propped up, the hydraulic checks of the trailer come down and the trailer drives out. The last job was for the guys to secure the stands and strap the boat down and then it was time for us to get started on some work. Our plan was to get stuck into the haul out and smash the work out as quickly as possible. But sickness struck at Pete's work so with him being one of the few left standing he couldn't take time off as planned and so day one saw our team reduced down to just me. I started on the easy to reach areas, like the rudder and the keel, which all needed to be scraped first to remove all the barnacles and then sanded with the machine. Mm -hmm. 
And then the scraping continued on the rest of the hull. But from day two, Cameron took leave from work to come and help, which made the job go a little faster. I would scrape and he would come behind me with the sander. And once all the scraping was done, we were both on the sanders getting through the work a lot faster. Once the hull was sanded, we went around getting any fairing done. Once again, we had some great teamwork going. I marked and prepped and Cameron followed behind with the fairing. The next day we sanded it, washed down the hull and were ready to start painting on Saturday morning, which was perfect timing with Pete being home from work and all of us able to help with the painting. Pete and Cameron were doing all the areas with the big rollers and I did all the smaller areas with the small roller and the paintbrush. With the hull painted, anodes could go back on and we could touch up under any of the props that could be moved. And we got those last jobs like prop speed on the prop and shaft done and painted some silicon over the transducer. With all the important jobs done and some extra time spare, we decided to give the waterline a little buff up. And by Sunday afternoon, she looked pretty sweet and sparkly again, ready to go back in the water. And so launch day arrived and back came the trailer and slipway team. As you can see, it's a tight fit around our keel, so there was a fair bit of concentration going on. And then up came the hydraulic checks again to lift the boat, which also meant we could paint under the keel and under the other props before it was time for the trip across back to the slipway. Just like when we hauled her the week before, the entire process on launch day was a smooth and carefree operation by the slipway team at Marston Cove.
And just like that, she was back in the water afloat again. With Kamara's hauler done and dusted, she was ready for another season in the islands, which we will soon share with you. But first, it's back to Little Wing in the next video, getting ready to launch and take her for her first sail. If you like to support us, make sure you like this video and subscribe so that you won't miss the next episode. Thanks for watching.